Today, I am pleased to introduce a fresh subject concerning the Huawei photonic chip. In recent days, Huawei CEO Rin Zhengfei summoned American technological specialists to China for photonic chip research in the event that the United States imposes penalties. The American specialist then promptly flew back to China. It appears that Chinese Huawei CEO Ren Zhenfei's statements are effective. As a result, I'll lead you to discover more about this new in greater depth. There is no scarcity of skill in China. What is needed is a method for retaining talent. Every year, a huge number of talented people leave the country. The United States has a high regard for talent, a conducive research environment, and substantial pay scales. More and more overseas students are obtaining PhDs, staying in Silicon Valley to work, and becoming American citizens. Yin Jiao, the creator of China Micro Semiconductors, elected to return to China at the age of 60. The company's 5 nanometers etching machine has entered the manufacturing line of TSMC, which has become one of the world's top manufacturers. Yin Jiao went back to China. So far, more than 300 technical patents have been granted. Compared to the top Chinese PhDs in the United States, his technology and status are not the most outstanding, he previously stated. When he was still at Intel, the majority of technical R&D staff and team leaders were Chinese. This is plenty for us. We must carefully consider the causes for the outflow of skills from oneself, and the present most significant issue is how to keep talents. The American chip doctor has returned. Following in the footsteps of Yin Jiao, numerous semiconductor geniuses have returned to China one after the other. There has just been excellent news that China has welcomed back a top talent from the United States who has plainly rejected rich compensation overseas. Temptation, upon his return to China, he will commit himself to the development of the Chinese semiconductor sector, and it is Chang Lin, the chip doctor. Chang Lin attended Shandong University. She went on to study at the University of California in the United States, where she earned a PhD. During her stay at the University of California, she worked on photonic chips and other cutting-edge semiconductor technology. Chang Lin chose not to stay in the United States after graduating. He made the decision to return to China after seeing that several domestic enterprises are involved in the research and development of photonic chips. According to him, applying the theoretical knowledge and laboratory experience he has gained over the years can greatly aid the development of the domestic photonic chip industry, and he also encouraged more young scholars to join the ranks of those assisting in the development of domestic semiconductors. Such aspiring young individuals will accomplish a great deal. The Huawei photonic chip provided significant support. Photonic chips are widely regarded as the most likely next-generation chip material by the industry. Several nations are now pushing the development of this initiative. Dr. Chang Lin has long been involved in the development of photonic chips. When compared to contemporary electronic chips, the photonic chip's optical fiber transmission speed is very rapid, and the loss is also very well regulated. Dr. Chang Lin has solved the problem of optical fiber refractive index, which had previously confounded the industry's best specialists. The first researchers employed quartz to complete the waveguide of the photonic chip, however the usage effect was produced by the incompleteness of the refractive index. It wasn't all that great. Chang Lin then utilized silica to improve the refractive index of the optical fiber, resulting in the photonic chip's ideal waveguide structure. Dr. Chang Lin's accomplishments in this sector do not stop there. He holds a number of technological patents. You may assist the domestic optical quantum chip sector flourish more effectively if you make excellent use of these technological patents. Huawei now has the most breakthroughs in light quantum processors in China. As a result, if there are no shocks, Huawei will not let such a genius leave. At the moment, Huawei has achieved a technology named optical computing chips, systems, and data processing in this sector, which is complementary to Dr. Chang Lin's research approach. Next, it is up to Huawei to seize this talent. If the participants can be completely integrated, it will be extremely beneficial to the growth of the local semiconductor sector, and Huawei High Silicon will also provide great assistance. Ron Zhengfei previously observed, the most heartbreaking thing is that the talents cultivated in the country at high prices have become other people's wedding clothes. The first issue to be addressed is that all Chinese chickens have returned to the homeland to laid eggs. With the progressive development of China's scientific research environment, the reliance on skills is growing. This is how to get talents like Mao Wei, Chang Lin, and Yin Jiao to return to China. 
patriotism compels them to return. It cannot be used in China, therefore returning to China is not an option for researchers. At the moment, China should pay special attention to scientific maniacs and not let them cope with those delicate human interactions, and their salaries should stay up with them over time. Don't allow these talents be concerned about purchasing a home or educating their children. Only by resolving their personal issues will they be able to contribute to the country without fear. Furthermore, the survival of the fittest should be applied to skills, and young people's progress should not be hampered because they are elderly employees. Let us now discuss the optoelectronic chips. The creation of optoelectronic chips represents a watershed moment in China's semiconductor industry. The optical gadget employs semiconductor light emitting technology, which allows light to be directly emitted in the conductor. The US photonic chip hypothesis, in fact, was published many years ago. It can send data via light, which is quicker than the chip we normally use and consumes less power. In a nutshell, it is the transmission of energy via light quanta. Surprisingly, Chinese scholars have made theoretical advances in such a short period of time. This technical achievement has propelled China not just to the forefront of the semiconductor industry, but also to the forefront of the globe. This accomplishment is heartening. Many netizens wonder what the difference is between a photonic chip and a conventional chip. In reality, most users can tell the difference intuitively. Its work efficiency, such as the photonic chip's operational efficiency and the transmission speed of the system stall, are based on the chips we usually use. A photonic chip that improves the user experience. In truth, photonic chip technology is not limited to China's research and development. Many governments have also made significant investments in this field. It's only that China was the first to create it and is now at the forefront of the globe. Today, China's semiconductor technology has shattered the former US chip market hegemony. This time, the Chinese scientific research team's technical success is sufficient to give China a voice in this sector. When the United States saw the results of its R&D, it advocated sharing technologies. This astonished China as well. This technology has maintained me at the forefront of the global semiconductor business. It effectively broke through Western countries' monopolies while also breaking past the limits of the United States. This episode has prompted China to declare that it will be beaten if it falls behind. We must increase the speed of the semiconductor sector, master key technologies, walk in the foreground, and stop being passive and governed by others. We can learn about Huawei's photonic chip development and talent construction at the end of this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. How do you feel about Huawei's development in this video? You may leave your thoughts or recommendations in the comments section below. Please continue to subscribe to our channel and enjoy our videos.